Jessie, and this is going to be my third video for the Miss Jessie's uh, little series that I'm doing, and I'm just going to run through this real quick. Um, today, I used the Stretch Silkening Cream. I shampooed, conditioned with their uh, shampoos, and then um, as I got out the tub, I'm sorry, as I got the shower, um, I did use my AG Cosmetics uh, Moisture and Shine Hair Food Leave-In Conditioner. Uh, just like I did the last time with the quick curls. This time I did forget to put in my shea butter after. But anyway, this is the Stretch Silkening Cream. You guys can see that. And um, to me it has like this a little heavier kind of different feeling than the Curly Meringue. Uh, maybe it is thicker, I don't know. But um, it doesn't smell bad. It, it doesn't smell overpowering. <clears throat> powering. It smells fresh. It just smells like a like a soap, like a clean soap or something or lotion. Um, so not too bad. But anyway, uh, so after I put the leave-in conditioner, um, I did section by section put this in as instructed, and I air dried. When I first put it on my hair, it felt it did not feel as good as the quick curls nor the curly meringue going through my hair. So I was a little bit afraid of what it was gonna um, actually feel like and how I mean you know how it was gonna turn out. Um, but I went to sleep because I had been exercising, had a hard workout, and I went to sleep and um, I woke up and I'm like, this is going to be for sure crap because I just fell asleep, didn't um, tie my hair up or anything. I took a nap and I woke up and it was like this. Now this does not look too bad. There's nothing special about it. Um, Again, gave me a lot better curls than the Curly Meringue. I'm still liking the Quick Curls a little bit better, only because of when it went on, it had a lot more slippage. It just felt better uh, than putting it on and everything than the Stretch uh, Silkening Cream. Now, um, this is the, this one doesn't alter your hair. I know a lot of people ask, does this one alter your hair like uh, something else, like a silkening process that they do in their salon? No, this doesn't. This is just a cream. Um, did it elongate my curls or do anything spiffy to it? At first, when it was wet, I thought it was because I thought I was putting it through my hair. Like, you know how you can just brush your hair with a dimming brush and the curls will be straight and then they just droop back up? Like, the curl was staying straight. So, um, I don't know if it really elongated my curls, but, um, you know, I mean, the curls don't look too bad. Nothing too spiffy about this product. Um, out of the other two that I've used so far, um, this is the one that I don't like the most, mainly because of how it feels and how it feels going on to the hair. But um, final product, not too bad. Let me do a quick a turn. Uh, tonight what I'm going to do is I'm going to do maybe a braid out or a twist out with this. Uh, I tried to do the quick curls, you know, second day. You know, it was kind of okay, but no, it just wasn't popping. So, uh, I'm just going to try and do maybe like a braid out or a twist out and see how this goes. Alright, so stay tuned for part two and let's see how the next day goes. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hi, YouTube family. Um, this is Ursula C. and this is the second part to the Miss Jessie's Stretch Silkening Cream video. And um, I was going to try and do a braid out last night, but it just didn't work. Um, I had company over, so just by the time it was, I wanted to go to bed, homegirl wasn't thinking that. But that's okay because I love to wear my hair and wash and goes, as you all know. But I just wanted to come back with a quick little video to show you guys um, how the second day turned out. And I'm holding my camera myself, so I'm sorry. But um, I basically uh, put some of my one and only argan oil treatment on because um, my hair felt extremely dry um, and then I put some more of the silk, stretch silkening cream on and um, spritz 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 with water it didn't have to be dripping wet but I needed it to get it wet um, and uh, it's not too bad not too bad but um Definitely, I think I like my kinky curly better um, because it just felt so dry. Even with kinky curly, if you go to bed, your hair might get matted down. 
but you just, you know, switch, you know, <laughs> move your head around and spray a little water and it's pretty much fine. Um, but to have to keep putting oils and, and pile on product, on top of product, just to get something to bounce back, which um, is not as cute as yesterday, um, even though it, it, it's still damp and still wet, um, I feel like, I mean, you're putting more product on top of more product. The only thing that I can think of with these products um, is because of the petroleum and mineral oil, stuff like that that's in it. Maybe it dries it out. And uh, so, I'm not sure, but this is my second day here with uh, Miss Jessie's. And y'all like it, y'all like it, let me know. Um, yeah, that's about it. So, stay tuned to the next video because it's going to be the final video which will be for the curly pudding and I'm also going to do a wrap up of all the products and what I think about it. So stay tuned to that and I will talk to you guys later.